Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a question that crosses the minds of many fitness enthusiasts. Why is building muscle so difficult? And why does it take so long? Whether you're a beginning bodybuilder hitting the gym or an experienced bodybuilder looking to break through a plateau, understanding the science behind muscle growth can help you achieve better results. In this video, we'll explain how muscle cells grow after a workout, how genetics affect your muscle building journey, and why some people see faster progress than others. Muscle Growth Basics First, let's cover the basics. What actually happens when we build muscle? When you lift weights or perform any kind of resistance exercise, your muscles experience tension and even microscopic damage. This isn't a bad thing. It's a key trigger for muscle growth. The body responds by synthesizing new proteins to repair and strengthen the damaged muscle fibers, which is why you often hear the phrase, no pain, no gain. The more you challenge your muscles, the more this process occurs. However, if you're not used to working out or push yourself too hard, a lot of that protein synthesis goes into repairing the muscle damage rather than growing new muscle tissue. This is why rest and recovery is so important. Over time, the goal is to have your muscles synthesize more new proteins than they break down, leading to muscle growth. The role of protein synthesis in key proteins. Muscle growth happens at the cellular level, and several key proteins control this process. One of the most important is the mammalian target of rapamycin, or mTOR for short. This protein is activated by the tension you create in your muscle during resistance training and is essential for stimulating muscle protein synthesis. On the flip side, there's another protein called myostatin, which acts like a break on muscle growth. Interestingly, some animals have naturally low levels of myostatin and become incredibly muscular as a result. But don't worry, humans can also reduce their myostatin levels through regular resistance training, which allows for faster muscle gains over time. The Limits of Muscle Growth so, why doesn't muscle growth continue indefinitely? Muscle cells, called muscle fibers, are unique in that they have multiple nuclei, but these nuclei can't divide. That means there's a natural limit to how much muscle a single fiber can grow. Luckily, muscle stem cells, known as satellite cells, come to the rescue. These satellite cells can donate additional nuclei to the muscle fibers, allowing them to grow even larger. Unfortunately, as we age, the number of satellite cells decreases, making it harder to build and maintain muscle mass. This is why older individuals often find it more challenging to regain lost muscle. The good news? Resistance training can help stimulate these satellite cells even as you age. How genetics affect muscle growth. Now, let's talk about genetics. One of the most frustrating aspects of muscle building for many people, everyone's muscle composition is different. There are two main types of muscle fibers, fast twitch fibers, which are responsible for explosive movements and grow more easily, and slow twitch fibers, which are more suited for endurance. If you naturally have more slow twitch fibers, it might be harder to see fast muscle gains, even with the right training and nutrition. But that doesn't mean you're stuck. While you can't completely change your fiber type, you can shift the balance by focusing on weightlifting over endurance training. This is why some people who seem genetically unlucky at first can still make significant progress over time. There are other genetic factors too, like testosterone levels and the number of ribosomes. These are the molecular machines that synthesize proteins. But these factors vary from person to person and can affect how fast or slow you build muscle. The take-home message. So, what's the bottom line? Building muscle takes time and consistency. While your genetics play a role in how quickly you see results, everyone has the potential to grow muscle. The key is to stay committed to progressive overload, continuously challenging your muscles, while also focusing on rest and nutrition to support muscle recovery. It might feel slow at times, but every workout is an investment in your long-term growth. Whether you're looking to bulk up or just maintain muscle as you age, understanding the science behind muscle growth can help you stay patient and motivated. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.